going to go somewhere completely different. <laughs> yeah. Crushing it. Come on. Oh, that's not right. Oh, I see. That's the wrong button. There you go. Crushing it more like snipping it. Yep. Can I please get bubble on front porch ish? What's the ID number for this? I want to get it on the Zero end of the nozzle four. there. So you have Zero to drive it four. manually. And then please come up on Delta once you've done that. Um, bubble on the end of the... End of the slurp. Oh, uh, end pose. of the slurpy. Okay. Yeah, Marek, I'm not sure if it's... Okay, wrong way. Steve says we need to preserve half the tissues in formula and half in ethanol. So. Okay. And what's the name for okay, this? That's good. And then you come up on Delta, this please. This is a zooanthid um, sample. Dave, zoom in, please. Sorry, I, I, don't, I don't get that. Can you spell? Z-O-O-T-H-A-N-I-D. Yes. N-I-D. You can put it to a 24 meter Z -O -O delta. Z-O-O-T-H-A-N-I-D. Okay. And then turn on the suction. Z-O-O-T-H-A-N-I-D. Correct? Yeah. Thank uh, you. I should go this way. Bringing up the delta. Okay, when you're ready, you can turn suction on. Let's try 60%. Feels like a good number today. Alrighty. 10, 20. And open the bubble iris too, please. 30. Can't see. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Fifty and sixty. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's just poke him in first. Get in there. <laughs> Come on. Really? <laughs> uh, okay. Do you need me to turn it up? Oh. There. There's there. One little piece. Uh, yeah, let's go to 70. All right, that piece is not not playing nicely. Let me do this. Oh. Well, that's most of it gone, but we got some of it in there. Oh. Yeah, there's some in the jar. I'll try and nuzzle this one in. Then I gotta move. You can keep coming up on Delta. Let's get right. up to 24. Uh, we're at like 24 on Delta. Oh, I see. Sorry. Yeah. Go in. Why don't you just. I can't see you very well. I'm going to move my. Yeah, tilt. you can camera down. Yeah. Hello. I'm like Ooh. way falling behind. Ooh, there you are. Come on. Work with me here, buddy. What are you doing? How the heck? Oops. There's no way this is going to get in there. <laughs> Can you pop it in the middle and make it break it? I tried that once, oh, but yeah. it squirts off to the side. Oh, there we oh. go. Okay, nice. full wide, please, Dave. And one. All right, I got to move. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Do I keep Delta at 24 or go back to 20? Uh, uh, let me pass you before we go to 20, but you can keep coming up on the winch right now. Keep the delta at 24. Yeah, Steve tentatively identified Delta's it running as, uh, away. Bring the camera on oh. the But most importantly, keep the delta coming up. I think the DVO is still doing okay. Stand by. Okay. Keep that delta coming up, okay. most importantly. Okay. If you can also do the camera tilt, that's fine, but that has also to come second. Also known as the Hawaii gold coral. Oh, nice. Uh, do I need to disable and re-enable the tilt? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm going to keep the uh, delta high. Yeah. Bringing it back up. So really, whoops. 
It's a really big sponge coming up and uh, hopefully we can see that oh, in her view soon. Can, can we check this? Nope, oh. not oh. right now. Okay. We're playing catch up from that sample. I'm gonna get delta back up to 24 Can and then mess with the tilt a bit. Yeah. Now that I'm past you, you can go to 20. You can leave it 20 to 22 kind of thing. Okay, I'm there. Turn tilt off and on again. And can I bubble on craft, please? Uh, bubble on craft. Thank you. There you are. Hello. There I are. There you are, yar. All right. So there was some coral in the jar. Now it's not there. We all saw it, right? Yeah, I saw it, yeah. It's not there anymore. It's probably just tucked up somewhere, but Another I fish. never did see the uh, other piece come in, so there's a very slight chance it's still in the hose. Yeah. That was my impression as well, Trevor. Yeah. Really did not want to go in. No, it was the stubbornest coral of all. I don't see it in the hose, but I mean, yellow on yellow, what am I going to see? So, Baraki, do we have space for another rock? Oh, that'll knock it out. Our forward bio box has Omega open, okay. and then our starboard has uh, D open. Yeah, I want to I try to avoid the starboard because there's some pieces there that may fall out. Okay. So. So we have space. Okay. Is this... Oh, there's one piece. One piece is in the jar. There might be one in the hose, but jar four does indeed have a piece. Is that a crinoid there? Or? Okay. Oh, okay. Back to regular scheduled programming. Sorry. Because what I'm anticipating doing is, you know, kind of going up to the top to make sure there are or aren't any limestones or carbonate reef material. Okay. And then we may come back off a little bit and sample some of this. Yeah, okay. If we could find a rock around here that's uh, sampleable. Sampleable. Sampleable, as they say in the old land. We got a point eight in the 6.8. Yeah, I'm all over the place. Alrighty. Classic sampling while ship move is in. It just makes a total mess. Yep. And you got to do like 48 things to recover. I saw you rubbing your stomach and tapping your head too. Yeah, I do that every morning to warm up. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get bubble on front porch and please come up on Delta? Bubble on front porch coming up on Delta. For those of you viewing at home that want to know um, depth and bearing uh, data. If you go see that um, tab to the Delta to 20? to right. the right of the stream under Delta technology, if you scroll down and click more data, you could see um, all our data. Uh, we're currently at a depth of 1,581 meters. It's interesting, all this material looks like it has a lot of manganese coating on it, but that ridge that we were going up didn't seem to have as much. Or could have just been my, my eyes. So if the carbonate has manganese coating on it, like, would it look different? No, it probably won't have any. It, oh. I mean, all the stuff we saw in Johnson Atoll had uh, didn't have any on it. 
Yeah, like, see this darker rock over here up in the upper left of the view right now? Yeah, mm -hmm. but it still has a lot of manganese coating on top. You can still see the botryoidal. Could just be the lighting. Yeah, it's just the lighting. Is the manganese coating botryoidal? Yeah. That's what you're, that's that refers to? Yeah, it, I think it has a, an interesting electrochemical sort of characteristic to it that it kind of concentrates in certain areas. It's kinda a nice looking crinoid. Yeah, equally spaced. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice crinoid. Wow. So that one's a stocked crinoid? Yes. Are the different colors indicative of different species? Or is that just a... Oh, there's another one. Related. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. Yeah, the is the common name for the sea lilies? Sea lilies, cedar stars. We did see some ripples up here, too. In the There's our promontory again. What does that word mean in this context? It's, it's kind of like a nose coming out topographically. Okay. Is nose a technical term? <laughs> well, <laughs> I feel like promontory is a technical term. <laughs> <laughs> Rob uses the word nose a lot for things, I think. Well, I, I tend to over anthropomorphize things. He just knows. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. We're lacking puns, this, yeah. this watch. Dave's tired. Oh. <laughs> That's what happens when you're up for every watch. Did you get some naps in there? Call it up. Four hours of sleep in two chunks. Ooh. Hmm. Another brittle star jumping off this. Suicide. <laughs> Are they off to find new corals to attach to? I'm not sure. It just seems like when we come upon them every once in a while, they decide to start uh, evacuating. Hmm. More paragorgia there. They move so fast compared to everything down here. So we are now about 1,000 meters away from the top. Yeah, can we zoom on that? Go ahead, Dave. Uh, I know Rita Gorgia. Yes. Look at their feet. Thank you. Holding on. Uh, Steve's called it Metallogorgia. Caught me with my mouth full on that one. Chewing something crunchy. The question in the chat is, how come there's not more fish? Is it because Herc kind of scares them away before <laughs> we really get to see them? Yeah, I mean, Herc is not quiet. 
It's loud and bright, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even fish that don't use their eyes anymore, yeah. still going to be able to hear it or feel the vibrations through the water. Probably not a <laughs> lot of food here either. Mm. We've seen a lot of eels, right? Another question is, why is the surface of the rocks not smooth and has texture? Looks like little bumps and holes all over them. Almost grape-like, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> what was that word again? Botryoidal. Botryoidal? Yeah, like Botryoidal. Yeah, that's the uh, the character, the habit, or the shape that uh, manganese coating has on top of the rocks. So most of these rocks are probably covered with maybe in a half centimeter or centimeter thick uh, manganese and crustacean. Were they always this bumpy or do they get more bumpy over time? No, they over time they, these things kind of uh, accrete and they say like maybe a, a centimeter over you know tens of millions of years is the uh, the rate at which this stuff grows. Wow. Or accumulates. So why doesn't it get buried in the sediment? We see the sediment dusting all over everything, but is it not increasing over time? Well, that's one of the things very increased. I mean, we should have about a, a hundred meters of sediment everywhere here. Right, so where does it go? Well, it, it's all going down slope. I think what's <laughs> happening is these promontory, or these peaks act as little local uh, intensification of currents. So oh, any currents okay. cause all sorts of uh, you know, kinetic energy in, in moving the sediment down slope. So, which, which really surprised me because when you get to the tops of these things, I expected to see you know, a lot thicker sediments. What's the concentration of manganese? You say it's manganese encrusted, but is it like 100%? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it's, it's a mix of, you know, different, you know, rare earth elements, you know, iron, sure. uh, manganese, probably magnesium, lots of stuff that's dissolved in the water column. But that's not my... The cheap chemistry is not my, my gig. <laughs> uh, what is your gig? Long division. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ew, math. Oh, what is this? What is it? Uh, zoom in, please. Yay! Oh, Ooh. nice. What is it? Backpack crab. Oh, yeah. Is that... An official name of it? No. Oh. <laughs> it's a common name. <laughs> Looks like an omoli crab. It's got a hairdo going on. Yeah. yeah. It's late to school. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> wow. What places to be for sure. Or maybe he's just running away from us. <laughs> yeah. He's got, got, a hair, got a hair appointment. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thanks. Now, what do we say that actually was? Homolid crab. It's okay. a family of deep sea brachyuran crabs, true crabs. And they put different sorts of things on their back, don't they? Yeah, yeah so that, that little hairdo it had wasn't part of it. It was, no, it was it just was like carrying it. Yeah. And the crab chose to put something on there or the thing chose the crab? Um, I think it's the crab okay. who put the things on them. So it has to like pick it off of a rock or something yeah. and slap it on its back? That's yeah. Cool. Well, <laughs> according to Harry Potter, the wand chooses the person. Uh. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like backpack crab. I like backpack backpack crab too. I wonder what they get out of that. I wonder what the point is. It's like a, an old bamboo coral stuff uh, there. Oh, there you go. Zoom in on the squat lobster, please. There's so many. This is a very common species of Muridopsis, but it's gonna be another new genus. Steve's asking if you're interested in a sample, Paula. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. 
No, this is a common species. It's, uh, it's not new. All these uh, is the, among the few species of squat lobsters that you can identify with a simple image. So I don't need to collect those. Big sponge coming up. Oh, Ooh, big sponge. Ooh. Professional sponge. Here it is. <laughs> Another sacro calyx. Is this really one called that? bigger than the last one? Sacco calyx, S-A-C-C-O-C-A-L-Y-X. The five is silent. The five is silent. <coughs> what? <laughs> There's a guy down. Got a sponge cleaner? Yeah. Like two Like of them. here. Yeah. With a shrimp? There's a couple there with you can see with the cinema cam as well. Ooh. Oh yeah, those are yeah. double. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. wow. We so were tiny. Is that little tiny thing a shrimp? Yes. Shrimp. A shrimpy shrimp. Shrimpy shrimp. Yeah, it's not a big. Oh. Look nice at that. shot. What am, what wow. am I even seeing there? That's gorgeous. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, nice get. I can spot these Zachocalyx on the Atalanta cam before we show up um, with yeah. Hercules. Yeah. They're so big. Yeah, Atalanta is a huge advantage for that, for knowing the surroundings. You know where to go. You cover a lot, and you can explore a lot more of the seafloor than just the three meters in front of Hercules with that. It's pretty cool. Look at the way it's all woven like a web. Yeah. Crazy texture. Beautiful. All right, thank you all. Thank you. Someone in the chat asked about fossilized branchy things. I think you're talking about the, the dead uh, stalks and sponges. I don't think they're fossilized. I think they're just fallen. There's another squat. Squat? Yeah. yeah. Could the homolid crab be using the things it's carrying for protection? Yeah, for protection. And then um, the thing, the anemone is getting food because the movement of the crabs. Oh, OK. So it's. Star. Yeah, zoom in on there, please. Yeah. That's a cute one. Until its stomach comes out and eats you. Apex predator. I think it's a little small to be eating me. One polyp at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Is that a Victor Gorgia it's beside? Maybe. I think so. I wonder who Victor is. I wonder who's named after a Victor. I just saw the tether in the Atalanta cam and I was like, oh. Right? You think it's, it's like some sort of animal or something. You're yeah. Like, it's huge. I've and been it's bamboozled. <laughs> bamboozled coral. What kind of coral is that? Tether Gorgia. Tether Gorgia. <laughs> <laughs> Characterized by unique buoy formations on it. <laughs> well, the segmentation with the bulbs there, it's probably a yeah. bamboo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you zoom in on the individual daisy chain polyps. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, we have people in the chat asking, what age do you think our uh, professional sponges were? Those big sponges, how old do you think they could be? Uh, I really don't know. I have read that they can live up to 200 years. I guess those, it, it has a rate of uh, grown around uh, point two centimeters per year, something like that. Yes. So again, like the bigger the sponge, the it older it might be. 20, yeah. Another sacco. So science row, we're uh, nearing the last waypoint. Yeah, let's just. We're nearing the second last waypoint. Yeah. Ready to start moving south to waypoint seven? Well, just keep going up up the slope a little bit more. Up the slope, not to waypoint seven? Yeah, not yet. Well, okay. Once we get to that next major uh, contour, then we can kind of start moving to the south, I think. Right, well, yeah. I, are just, we I just want to see how much sediment is on top here. Okay. Are we at the top yet? Are we close? Really, really close. Yeah, really close. 20, 30 meters from the vertical. Yeah. Cool. And I don't see a lick of carbonate here, except in the sand. What does it taste like? We have <laughs> sediment cores. Well, that's what I'm thinking. We might want to try to, you know, once we get up to the sediment up top, we can get some sediment core. Try maybe, maybe two cores. But I, I don't think there's that much. It's not very thick in here. Can I please get a USB-L reset? Uh, yeah. Kind of jumping everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Trevor, if you have time. Should I just do it while you're in motion? Yeah, probably going to be there. I'm, I'm stopped now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead, science rule. Yeah, you Trevor, if you have, to, if you want to grab a rock here. Yeah, sure. If, if it's possible, I mean, I don't anticipate seeing carbonate now. Oh uh, yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we could try grabbing a rock. Let me get right out to the edge of my leash, and then we'll see what I can do. And for me, size doesn't matter. I mean, bigger the better now. Well, uh, pick a target, and I'll try for it. You want to circle okay, me is one? Okay, something even right, right there in the front sure. there. Let's see what happens. Um, the one over here is a little angular, but that's probably too big. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty huge. I'll try the ones just below the lasers, like uh, these ones. Yeah, let's try those. Okay, can I get craft on bubble on craft on bubble craft bubble? Bubble craft, craft, bubble craft. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. This Awesome. It's very thin, though. I don't, yeah, I don't like that one. No, I don't like it either. <laughs> Just toss it aside like the rest of the... You sure? Yeah, I don't want it. All right. Na, 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 na. Don't oh. let him hear you say that. It fluttered. Okay, uh, I'm going to get out of here then. Yep. Someone made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been the other ROV. Yeah, exactly. Was it that that rock was too squishy? Huh? It was just too thin. It's gonna. There's no way it's going to be... Uh, so were you looking to like uh, cut into the rocks and like see inside of them? Ooh, what about this one in the center of the field? I like that. Yeah. You were looking right where I was. Yeah, why do you want the ones that you want? Well, I mean, this one, it's a little darker and it doesn't have the botryoidal texture as much. What about this one? Yeah, that's, that's what we're looking at. Here we go. It looks promising. Hmm. We've seen a lot of eels, right? Another question is, why is the surface of the rocks not smooth and has texture? Looks like little bumps and holes all over them. Almost grape-like, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> what was that word again? Botryoidal. Botryoidal? Like Botryoidal. 
Yeah, that's the uh, the character, the habit, or the shape that uh, manganese coating has on top of the rocks. So most of these rocks are probably covered with maybe in a half centimeter, or centimeter thick uh, manganese encrustation. Were they always this bumpy, or do they get more bumpy over time? No, they over time they, these things kind of uh, accrete. And they say like maybe a centimeter over, you know, tens of millions of years is the uh, the rate at which this stuff grows. Wow. Or accumulates. So why doesn't it get buried in the sediment? We see the sediment dusting all over everything, but is it not increasing over time? Well, that's one of the things very increased. I mean, we should have about a, a hundred meters of sediment everywhere here. Right. So where does it go? Well, when it's all going down slope. I think what's <laughs> happening is these promontories, or these peaks act as little local uh, intensification of currents. So oh, any currents okay. cause all sorts of uh, you know, kinetic energy in, in moving the sediment down slope. So which, which really surprised me because when you get to the tops of these things, I expected to see it, you know, a lot thicker sediments. What's the concentration of manganese? You say it's manganese encrusted, but is it like 100%? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it's, it's a mix of, you know, different you know, rare earth elements, you know, iron, sure. uh, manganese, probably magnesium, lots of stuff that's dissolved in the water column. But that's not my, the cheap chemistry is not my, my gig. <laughs> uh, what is your gig? Long division. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, math. Oh, what is this? What is it? Uh, zoom in, please. Yay! Oh, Ooh. nice! What is it? Backpack crab. Oh, yeah. Is that an official name of it? No. Oh. <laughs> it's a common name. <laughs> looks like me. an omolid crab. It's got a hairdo going on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look. It's late to school. <laughs> Oops, whoops, don't hit the camera. <laughs> wow. Places to be for sure. Or maybe he's just running away from us. <laughs> yeah. got, got, a hair, got a hair appointment. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thanks. Now, what do we say that actually was? Homolid crab is okay. a family of deep sea brachyuran crabs, true crabs. And they put different sorts of things on their back, don't they? Yeah, yeah so that, that little hairdo it had wasn't part of it. It was, no, it was it just was like attached. carrying it. Yeah. And the crab chose to put something on there, or the thing chose the crab? Um, I think it's the crab okay. who put the things on them. So I just like pick it off of a rock or something yeah. and slap it on its back. That's yeah. Cool. Well, according to Harry Potter, the wand chooses the person. Uh. So. <laughs> uh. I like backpack crab. I like backpack backpack crab too. I wonder what they get out of that. I wonder what the point is. It's like a, an old bamboo coral stuff uh. there. There you go. Another. Zoom in on the squat lobster, please. There's so many. This is a very common species of Muridopsis, but it's going to be another new genus. Steve's asking if you're interested in a sample, Paula. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. No, this is a common species. It's, uh, it's not new. All these uh, is the, among the few species of squat lobsters that you can identify with a simple image. So I don't need to collect those. Big sponge coming up. Oh, Ooh, big sponge. Ooh. Professional sponge. Here it is. <laughs> is that another sacro calyx? Is this really one called that? bigger than the last one? Sacco calyx, S-A-C-C-O-C-A-L-Y-X. The five is silent. The five is silent. <laughs> what? 
There's a guy down. Got a sponge cleaner? Yeah. Like two? Like oh. here. Yeah. With there's a, a shrimp? There's a couple there with you can see with the cinema cam as well. Ooh. Oh yeah, those are yeah. double. Oh yeah, look at that. Like. Wow. Wow. We so were. tiny. Is that little tiny thing a shrimp? Yes. Shrimp. A shrimpy shrimp. Shrimpy shrimp. Yeah, it's not a big. Oh. Nice shot. What, what wow. am I even seeing there? That's gorgeous. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, nice get. I can spot these Zachocalyx on the Atalanta cam before we show up um, with yeah. Hercules. Yeah. They're so big. Yeah, Atalanta is a huge advantage for that, for knowing the surroundings. You know where to go. You cover a lot, you can explore a lot more on the seafloor than just the three meters in front of Hercules with that. It's pretty cool. Look at the way it's all woven like a web. Yeah. Crazy texture. Beautiful. All right, thank you all. Thank you. Someone in the chat asked about fossilized branchy things. I think you're talking about the, the dead uh, stalks and sponges. I don't think they're fossilized. I think they're just fallen. There's another spot. Squat. Yeah. yeah. Could the homolid crab be using the things it's carrying for protection? Yeah, for protection and the um, the thing, the anemone is getting food because the movement of the crabs. Oh. Okay. So it's. Star. Yeah, zoom in on there, please. Yeah. That's a cute one. Until its stomach comes out and eats you. Apex predator. I think it's a little small to be eating me. One polyp at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Is that a Victor Gorgia it's beside? Maybe. I think so. I wonder who Victor is. I wonder who's named after a Victor. <laughs> they can tend to deceive us. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It wanted to be taken. Uh, Herc Downlight? Go ahead and zoom, please, video. Look at that. I uh, know that's terrible. That's awful. Really? One of the yeah. worst I've ever seen. Yeah, it's it's okay. Full wide, please. It's all spongy. Oh. It 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 felt like it was light when you picked it up. <laughs> okay, you can move on if you want. You know. Yeah, I'm not sure what, moving, so sure where you are. We're uh we're good. Might have to do a quick zip here, but then. Should be back to normal soon. Uh, Herc, do you see uh, good? Say again? Uh, Herc, do you see ground fault good? Yes, that's this guy. Okay, awesome. Just checking. Yeah, absolutely. Good catch, see something change. Let's talk about it. Anything here? What about... Oh, uh, what about uh, below the about lasers? Yeah. Yep. Give that a go. Mm, looks a little butchroidal, but... I think it's all going to be here, so... Yeah, I suppose that's true. But if nothing else, we just confirm that it's not uh, carbonate. It's definitely loose. Yep.
Do you uh, like that, Rob? We'll see you get a spin. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, maybe the best we're going to get here. It's not ideal. Happy with it? Nah, I mean, not really. <laughs> are we going to take it? I should no, say. let's not take it. Kate, come wide, please. So, what was wrong with this one? It, it, it looks too squishy. Is there one up to the left here? I'm not sure. There's that's kind of a big, but I was wondering if there's something over there. Uh, I can check that. Maybe one day I'll understand what you mean by squishy. You need. It's. Uh, I think it's going to be weathered all the way through. Weathered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's like light and like kind of yeah. arid. You want this angular altered. one? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Like it's been degraded or something? Yep. Uh, it's pretty lumpy. Like if you take a hammer and a I chisel to it, it'll crush. That's lumpy. Easier. Okay. So you do not want, you do not want one that will crush when chiseled, yeah. right? Ooh, big sponge. Big sponge. Make. a little zip and then yeah I think w if we come back off this slope we'll probably find one better because I don't think I think everything's really uh, altered on the top here it hasn't moved right so okay so abandoned hope all ye who enter yeah so <laughs> sounds good just go a little bit more till we get this flatter area might be enough sediment to get a push core by move, do you mean like fall down the slope, right? Yeah. And we're kind of at the top, so yep. there's no slope to fall. So once we get to the major contour, then we start going south, right? Correct. Oh, yeah. A little tiny bit of current up here, more so than we've seen so far this dive. That's. Doesn't seem to be a lot of like corals and stuff. Do you think it's because of the currents, or just I would all have the sediment? The opposite. I would have think the corals yes. would want some currents. Yeah, oh, that's it's because true. the the bottom is here a little bit more soft, mm -hmm. so they don't have to, like uh, hard substrate. Yeah. And it seems like the coral like these local highs too, mm -hmm. so we keep up that that ridge of volcanics. I wonder if we'll see more acorn worms. Mm. Yeah, the the geo, it's not really living up to its uh, name from the earlier watch. What was acorn, his name? It was Acorn Wormtown Mountain. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> acorn Worm. Pretty flat up here. Uh huh. You want a sediment core here? Yeah, let's try that. I mean, if you're, if you're set up to do it, let's try to see. It may not may not be very thick. Okay. But I think that we're going to get thick stuff as we go much farther in. I'm going to go as far ahead as I can before doing this. Yep. So got maximum time. Because the the edge of these geos that have the most kinetic energy from the the tides. Right. Keep delta around twenty. Uh, yeah, just be a little patient. We'll clear this little rock field and then check in this sandy bit coming up. Yeah. Okay. Wait for the ship to move three, four more meters. Mm -hmm. And we have all five push cores open and ready. All right. Open and ready. If you look at the Atalanta camera, it that um like the little rock field yeah. there's like a very stark line where it stops well it's kind of it almost reminds me about a crater or something where the lava yeah. came out of this depression and could, flowed down the side could that be that would be it's, so cool it could be 
Would that mean that there's probably a lot of sediment? Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. I think we have a better chance of getting stuff in here. As far as this field coming up goes, what's your guess at best bet? I, I would, I mean, I don't know, either over here, yes, yeah, sorry, here or over here. Okay. I'm trying to look at the little holes in the by the critters. I'm gonna leave delta depth around 18 because you're coming out so much. Sure. And as you approach, you can. Uh, Winch come it up. up. Uh, yeah. Winch, winch, winch it up. What's the over under on this actually working? Whoops, a little, a little aggressive Is that there. a little anemone in the corner? In the... Yeah, it looks like bottom left. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's put this way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Driving this thing. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, that's not uh, what you want. Well, All right. That's not a core. <laughs> You're missing some parts there. I wonder if these were not properly assembled. That doesn't really happen unless it was not properly assembled. We'll see if we get uh, good luck with the other ones. You All want right. bubble on porch? Uh, no, you're good. Can you please um, open the toolbox just a little Whoops. bit? Uh, porch tool tray? Tool tray. Tool tray. Tool tray out. Yeah, good there. Oop. There it is. What are we calling this sample? <laughs> 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 Okay, you can close that. That didn't look natural. <laughs> was that from push core number one? That was two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> For those of you watching at home, channel three shows, um, what would you call this camera? The push core cam? Is it the top down one? The starboard one? Oh, you you can see cam. him grabbing the, the push cores. Yeah. yeah, this is a starboard bio camera. Yeah. That one's properly assembled. Push core. Can't see. It's funny, I can feel the ship rocking a little harder and then I see the camera moving. Yeah, <laughs> totally. It's not quite connected, but it's close. Can I just go for it? Let's do it. Push Ooh, it real good. Great view from the <laughs> cinema camera. All right, all one centimeter. Yeah, that was my concern. Can I try somewhere else? Yep. <laughs> this is going to be, let me shake it out first, sorry. <laughs> Whee! Oh. All right, let's try again. Yeah, there's no, oh, maybe, moving the whole vehicle. Well, I could keep what I have. Yeah, let's I try it. I mean, like I said, I'm not all that optimistic. Mm. You want to keep that? Yeah. Check it out. Oh, it's not going to make it. It's not going to uh. make it. I mean, this stuff, it's going to be tough to. Okay, what would you like me to do? Try it one more time, and then... Uh, We'll okay. abort this. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's all the same. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, let's... I'll try and get it. Yeah, I'll throw it in and see what it looks like. I mean, it's still some in there. Some people are interested in, like, the top five centimeters anyway. Well, there, what about the top one? <laughs> no, this isn't going to make it. No. Okay. I'm going to shake it out. What do we do with these core samples? There are two scientists that are interested in the push cores. One of them wants to look at the top um, for little animals that live within the top few centimeters. And the other one, I actually do not remember right now. Okay. Yeah. It is possible to um, zoom on the cup coral we had at the bottom left? Uh, not right now, but maybe before we leave. The other scientist is a volunteer working at a natural history museum, and they want to look at the otoliths that come out of fish that are found in the sediment for a certain reason, but I forget the reason. The what that come out of fish? The otoliths. They're like their ear bones. Oh come out of fish when they're still alive or when they when they pass away oh interesting okay, we're stream, uh, zooming on what and the bottom left there is a right there you see it the yeah, little anemone that. Go delta ahead, Dave. 23 trying to get up and out of your way Wide, please, Dave. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Can you spin Atlantis heading to port? Probably 180 degrees. And then you can line the camera up as you need to. This way. There we go. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, tether wraps? Yeah, just keep coming around until you can see me again. Okay. Well, I hope I'm going somewhere. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah. Yay, okay, almost there. Okay, and while that's happening, can you please uh, rotate the suction jars? to, I don't know. Number five is open. Number five would be great. So that'll be forward. Why is this? Oh, I see. Duh. Forget that it's a press and hold. Yes. Yep. Is that good? Five is good, yeah. And you can turn the suction on to 60%. Oh, let me not drop it next time. Whoops. What's our suction? Number five. Oh my gosh, nope. <laughs> I forgot to zero it last time. Uh, so we're at 60. Thank you. At, at the moment. Thank you, Dave. Can you keep bringing out a lens heading around? Alrighty. Yeah, what? Oh, there he goes. Okay, come wide, please, Dave. We're at half wrap now. Yeah, and great. point two on the Okay, it's in there. You can kill the suction. Beautiful, thank All right. you. Zeroing the suction. All right, I got a jet now. Ooh, boy. We okay. came for a core and we um, slurped on an enemy. So, so it, five? It, it, yeah, it was five. Is Adelanta kind of at a funky like, yeah. angle? No, what, is is yeah. that what I'm saying? It was in box five. Yeah, you're not quite looking at me yet. And it's a cup coral. Are we going to keep going oh. upslope or are we going to start no, moving No, I think no. we're done with upslope. What's the name? Okay, you can hold a your 180 coral. set point. Cup? Yeah, does CUP? CUP, wow. Coral. And, and if we can actually Thanks. come to the southwest, come back off this ledge so I can try to get a, a rock. Oh can you hold gosh. position, please? I'm being spun. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, you want to have your set point to be not that way. Okay. 180. 180 for the heading? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, putting heading back to 180. Thank you. I'll get back out in front of you. Ooh, the learning curve. Okay, got a fish up here. You're doing great. We're all good. Put in position. Thank you. Oh. Wraps at point four and delta back out. Cool. Yeah, sampling, lots of stuff happens at all at once. <laughs> Uh, maybe we can get this off my lap now. All right. Oh, flying around. A cool fact from the chat about the otoliths, the ear bones. Um, they said age can be determined by the otolith. Fish raised in a hatchery also have marks that indicate being farmed. Wow. Did someone write that in otolithlives.org? Apparently there's like rings in the bone that could determine the, yep. or estimate the age of the fish. You say we want to step off the yeah, thing before? Yeah, I'd like to. Because I want to try to find a, you know, a rock that's kind of fallen off the, just that city and been stewing in the water here forever. Yeah, okay. So that's uh, like, what, 135 kind of thing? Yeah, that's us in southwest. Okay, we should probably do that or in... southeast, sorry about that. Southeast. We should probably do that in steps so that we can yeah. call it off once you're happy. Yep. Okay, do you want to do 50 meters? One, three, what did I say? One, three, five. So we keep going west or south now? One, three, five. One, two, five, okay. Just whatever that is, southeast. Bubble the porch? Yeah, please. Great question. Great catch. I forget, where are we at with gauge checks? Uh, 838 was our last uh, gauge check. Alright, now seems like a great time. Okie dokie. Uh, Mind if I winch up to like 22 or yeah, something? Yeah, tw tw uh, 20 is fine. We're not going up slope. Oh, right. We're going 135, so we're going a different direction now. It is 9.57 in our time. It's not how you spell that. Bubble the gauge. Cool. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Bubble the craft. Is 
sorry? Uh, because Rob asked us to. <laughs> so Rob, why are we going in this direction? Uh, I want to get off the top of this geo again. Oh, okay. So we get some steeper topography. And probably the rocks may have fallen off and may be a little fresher. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Because everything's been exposed up here for a long time and they're all uh, all weathered. I see. And then we'll start making our way to waypoint seven, is sure. that correct? Yeah. Yeah, I mean just cut it, we'll contour, just go along and uh, see what critters we see. Sure, yeah. So our time to surface is gonna be just over an hour. Yep. Uh yeah. So probably like to be off bottom at what is that going to be 1045 that's what i'm hoping maybe 1040 so that's what i'm hoping sounds Great. good so that gives us another 40 minutes yep. so for your awareness or just in general just. We come up at about 22 meters a minute-ish, 20 to 22, and when we're recovering on a watch change at noon, for in this example, I'd like to be at 50 meters depth, the handover, at about 10 minutes to the hour. So like that gives people 20 minutes to eat, put their boots on and get outside. We recover, which takes about 20 minutes, and then it gives us 20 minutes of uh, lunch remaining. Uh -huh. Ideally, we can keep it... Uh, laid out like that. So I'm trying to work backwards at how much what my ascent rate is, what 50 meters below what my depth is. Try to be there for 20 minutes, sorry, 10 minutes to. Yep. Yeah, nice. Yep. So you know. Interesting this you. from this view up, you can actually see these like semicircular regions. What's that about? And I think what it is, when they had the, the, the eruption over the top of this thing, you actually have these little pools of uh, lava Whoa. that create these little caverns underneath and stuff is collapsed in on top of it. So I think those little collapse pits where you had lava tubes or little mini lava lakes. That's pretty cool. That would be all underwater? Or are we assuming that would be? Yeah, above? these are all pillow basalt. So that's why I'm thinking, you know, when I was talking about the geo aspect, I think there's this flows coming out over the top of this thing, possibly. When you're finished with craft, can I get that on front porch, please? Thank you. And we're going to head back down slope a little bit, right? Yes. Down slope. Good ROV check survey, finish. perfect. Uh, just zeroing the uh, winch. All right. Everything look good? Everything looks good. Uh, is my Atalanta heading okay? Yeah. Alrighty. So I'll be letting out the winch as we go down. That sounds good. And I'll keep our delta around 20. Yeah, 20 to 23. So in this case, because we're going down slope, obviously the altitude will be shorter underneath Atalanta. Mm -hmm. So we'll try to keep a little bit higher and I'll keep a little closer to Atalanta as okay. well. Instead of as nice and stretched out going up. I'll be underneath going down. All right, sounds good. Just a different operating mode. All right, I'm tipping the uh, tilt down. Yeah, you can, uh, now that we're in the general area, you can spin your heading and tilt your camera whatever you see fit. All righty, sounds good. Most of the time, if I say, hey, can you bring your heading around to whatever, that's like a starting point. That's like get you in the ballpark, and then you can take it from there and refine it. I'm getting used to the lag of how the auto heading works. Yeah, yeah. There's, we might have talked about this, or maybe I talked about it with the told the four folks. There's the, the feature where it takes the path of least resistance to the auto heading set point. So if your set point is at 180 and your current heading is at 170, it's just going to go right there. That's obvious. But if you change your heading set point all the way around the compass rows, it'll end up, instead of going to 
the right, it'll switch. Oh, it's closer to go to the left. I'll go left. So if we spin, we need to spin in increments? Exactly. Yeah, let okay. it catch up a bit and keep the heading like 90 degrees ahead. Uh, uh, behind. Keep the set point 90 degrees ahead of where you actually are. Sounds good. can really confuse you too if you pull the vehicle. I, I pull the vehicle so it's tail to tail. And then it, I slack off and it goes the wrong way to its set point and you put a wrap in. Mm -hmm. Bummer. So this is a... And then we have to spin it out. Have to spin it out, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is another reason I want to come off the top of this thing. There's not much here. Boring. <laughs> well, there's a little fish down here, though. Little. Oh, yeah, a little wee one. Shows you the current there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you usually need about 15 centimeters per second to, to move the sediment, so you don't see many ripples here, so I feel a little less than that right here. So we are about five meters to the point, so, so we should keep going yeah, down? Yeah, just keep heading. Okay. A little Victor Gorgia here. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, I'll just go more, 50 more meters. Sure. Yeah, coral. Yeah. Walteria sponge. I love those. We're not doing very many steps right now, or mainly even tracking a line, but one other thing we can do if we're doing steps is you can actually just say, I want to see what he does. Um, you can just say another step if it's all exactly the same as last time. One more step, and then it should already have the inputs there. It didn't look like he had them in already, so I don't know how that works. But. Did you say uh, up to 24 on the delta? Yeah, 20, 20 to 24 instead okay. of like 15 to 22. Yeah, staying a little, you here. a little higher. And I'm going to stay a little closer so that whole lazy loop thing can be more underneath instead of over out in front. Sounds good. ROV team, about how big are the slurp containers? Uh, I should know this. Uh, you know those what giant cans of beans? Cool. <laughs> 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 you think that's about the right size? I don't know those giant Do cans of beans. Oh, never mind then. I kind of, I kind of can picture the giant cans of beans. Um, That'd be a number ten tin. I'd guess ten those cans centimeters in diameter and fifteen inches tall. Did you say centimeters and then it's inches? Now that it's punch. Yep. I said centimeters. Then yeah, I'm Canadian. That's a true sorry. Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bubblegum or Victor Gorgia? Or, or got crinoids on it. So we can only fit pretty small size specimens in there, right? Yeah, the limiting factor is the size of the tube. Oh, uh, true, is, yeah. I don't know, an inch and a half in diameter at the at the tip. It's like what, like a medium size watering can size bucket? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's broader than the, the large can of beans. Okay. <laughs> I like that you're picking like kind of helpful descriptions, but also <laughs> Very much not. So it's <laughs> like a, <laughs> about the size of a growler? Could be, oh, yeah, size of a growler. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think it's a, a little bigger than a growler, though. Okay. Like a milk jug size. Like a gallon? Because of the size of a milk jug. <laughs> <laughs> a large milk jug. But not too large. But not like too a, large. What about a can of paint? Ooh. That's close. Yeah. You know what? I gotta how say, big, I do not can. think it's the size of a can of paint. It's a little smaller? Or bigger. Or bigger. On the can of paint, but I don't think it's the can of paint size. <laughs> <laughs> what size of paint are we talking 
<laughs> there are multiple types of kids. <laughs> are, are we talking Canadian Imperial gas? <laughs> they do Canadian paint uh, differently. <laughs> volume of two size 10 work boots. <laughs> How many Volkswagen Beetles <laughs> can you fit in a, a slurp tube? Zero. Zero decimal, what? zero, five. What fractional? <laughs> what fraction of a Volkswagen bug? Depends how strong the slurp is, if it can get paint off there or not. That's a good question. I think it could. Definitely. They say Herc is the size of a Volkswagen bug, but I determined it's the size of a mail truck. Yeah, it's not the size of a Volkswagen bug. I like mail truck. I like That's mail good. truck. Mail truck's a good one, yeah. Mm. Tall white thing. Yeah, I think Herc is very much not the size of a Volkswagen bug. Bigger. Yeah. And Bigger, taller. Better. Ooh. Actually, are we gonna, like, are we allowed to say Volkswagen? Who knows? Oh, there goes the camera. Okay. Eee. You could just say punch buggy. <laughs> Do you guys call them punch buggy? Yeah, and then we punch yeah. people. Punch yeah. buggy, no punch backs. <laughs> it's universal. Yeah. <laughs> Generic brand universal punch buggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, earlier we said a universal generic uh, guy with a first name Harry and then a last name of Potter, so that might have been... No, he's actually a good friend of mine. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Potters is, uh, that's his profession though, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's a, a potter. One who pots. Sculpture wizard. <laughs> you can come down a bit on Delta. Okay. Ooh, yeah, coming down on Delta. Is that another one of those um, sponges we've been seeing? Sacocalyx. Sacocalyx? Sacocalyx. Calyx. Sacocalyx. Sack of calyx. Sack of calyx? Calyx, yeah. Uh, I don't think you'd say cow. Hmm? Cow? 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 <laughs> Like a salt lick. Cow lick. Cow lick. I thought that was like Cow? when someone's hair goes the opposite direction. Oh, also that, yeah. I thought you said cow lips. I'm like, that's, <laughs> that's a little weird. Sack of Sack cow, of lips. cow <laughs> lips. Oh, <laughs> Do cows have lips? Yeah, probably. They have mouths. I don't know uh, if you there might be a spot in here. What? Do Holy! You, a rock. <laughs> you got enough circles there? <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's your choice. Big I'll always, I'll always pick up a rock for you. I'll yeah, always pick up a rock. We have about a half hour left, and who knows? I'm trying to get something in here. All right, I think I will need a little more delta than previously advertised. Maybe 17. Uh, we're right around 20. Yeah. Uh, I said the wrong word. More meaning less. More meaning less. 17 meters, please. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm stretched out and doing a different than different thing than we previously talked about. Kind of up in this zone here. Yeah, I mean, there's like there's something there, there, there. Yeah, they all come out. Happy little rocks. Happy ones. We want happy ones. Taking happy them ones. away from their their home and their family. Yep. To be even happier with us. On a shelf, a special shelf. <laughs> special yeah. shelf. Can I get bubble on craft, please? 
uh, bubble and craft. Thank you. Ooh, we got some flashage. Sorry, that's going to happen a bit in this spot. This one? Yeah, let's try that one first. Ugh. I think that I want to try that one again. Yeah. Yes. yes! Look at you! Nice! Mus Down musculus. Down light on. Go ahead, Dave. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Does it. <laughs> oh, is it up to your yeah. standards? That's that could be my rock. most favorite rock ever. You're, oh, you're yeah. drooling. Uh, Let's do that. <laughs> okay, full wide, please. please. It looks like you have a couple of associates on it, too. <laughs> you can Associate open the rocks. toolbox. Tool uh, tray. Uh, do we want to. Put the we porch have cam? Omega open, no, the forward bio box. Omega, thank you. Ooh, tray. So you said we're going to be down at the C4 for like another 30 more? minutes yep. or so? Ooh, what am I, so after, what's after 30 minutes, we're uh, going to be... Uh, can you please click forward, sorry, toolbox view on there? <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. I'm sorry for anybody in. listening. <laughs> um, okay, stop. Uh, a toolbox out, one bump. Okay, toolbox in. Good there. I'm going in an Omega. Yep. Yeah. We got a Delta of 17, that all right? That's fine, thank you. Oh, look at that rock. Beautiful. Okay, you can close the toolbox. All right. Closing up the toolbox. And I'll take the craft bubble craft, please. Craft bubble craft. Thank you. Okay, I gotta move. Gotta go. So we're at a depth of about 1,500 meters right now. Um, we'll probably be ascending from the seafloor in about 30 minutes, and uh, you can check our social media pages to see when our next dive is going to be. You can keep the delta there because I'm going to go down. Alrighty. Now, now you're free to fly wherever you want, wherever uh, Paolo wants you to go. Yeah, sorry. We we'll just keep adding to waypoint seven. Then. Yep, that's fine. Okay. I'm, don't need any major uh, changes. Just kind of look around, see what's happening. And you're gonna catch up to me on the Atlanta camp. Yeah. Awesome. That's the dream. You know what I see? I see a lot of rocks. And I'll take front porch, please. Front porch. <laughs> that was an extra good one there. Nice juicy Spicy one. Spicy bubble can. All right, take some notes. Delta 20. So this dive only lasted about like what, 18 hours? How long can Herc be underwater for? Herc's longest dive is 74 hours and that's because we ran out of things to do. Wow. We often run out of sample space okay. uh, before we run out of any other problems. So, or run out of any other, you know what I'm trying to say, sample space is the limiting factor. But if, if Herc was just exploring, it is really unlimited amount of time? Yeah, it can go down until something breaks or until we lose interest or lose <laughs> objectives. Or, or fall asleep. Or fall asleep. Herc never sleeps. <laughs> or until you run out of seafloor. What, what comes after seafloor? Turtles. Turtles? Yeah. It's turtles all the way down after that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I like turtles. You've heard that from a scientist, folks. Turtles all the way down after yes, that. Yes, I have. It's a, a popular <laughs> saying. Is there a uh, biology up there? 
Do you see a, bi you see a biology somewhere? Where? Or is that a rock? Uh, kind of on the port side? Port side? Yeah. In the sand? Yeah. yeah. Is that a biology? Could be an acorn. Oh. We're back in acorn know. worm town. Let's uh, have a zoom there, please. It's pretty far away and downslope, so good luck. I don't see any, oh. like, marks in the sand, Oh, though. it's rock. It's just a rock. Just a rock. Just a rock. Why would you say that in All front right, of a geologist? I, I haven't seen many of the the, the, the trails in the yeah, sand. The little artworks that they leave behind. Yeah. They seem to be most of them at like the bottom of the guillot. Yeah. Maybe Acorn Worm Town is at the bottom of the mountain. Yeah, it if, must be. I wonder if there's just a, a richer sediment down there because the sediment comes off the top and floats down little mini landslides and maybe the well trevor richer. said there was like a current happening right so would the current like blow some stuff off the top of the guillot and yeah, well i think let that's it what's happening. At the bottom especially i mean there's the tides out here are mostly affected at the uh, pick decline the change of the density but some of the energy can get transmitted down here to this depth because uh and you can't have some currents tied in with the tides that stir things up, have a little kinetic energy. And it's especially at the edges of seamounts and geos where you have these things happening. And that just makes for tastier sand at the bottom. Yeah, I mean, it takes all the sand that would be here and throws it down slope. Ooh, we got a professional sponge. A different kind of professional sponge. Mm -hmm. Different oh. class sponge there. Annabelle, I think we found our first unofficial common name of, for the uh, sack of cow lips sponge <laughs> <laughs> as a professional sponge. Professional sponge. That's pretty good. It is. makes you wonder if this is a different planet altogether when you see these things. The rock formations and the... Mm -hmm. I mean, kind of. It's like a whole different world from yeah. up here. Should I keep Delta around 20? Yeah, 20 to 23. Okay. I'm floating around 21 or 22. That's great, yeah. <coughs> Stop cried all you done here. Yeah. Is that a sea lily? It's a feather, feather star. Crinoid. We're at the edge of this lava flow here, too. Yeah, another one down here. That's because he's doing a relative, not absolute. Because <laughs> his heading is, what's his heading right now? 66? 
205 plus 66 gives you 270, so that's probably a good guess. I don't know what Earth Polar means. Right, so we're going back up slope now. So I'm going to go back up slope, I guess. Yep, that's fine. That's uh, where the ship decided it wanted to go. I just dealt it back to 20. Uh, yeah. Ooh, actually gonna let you turn around first. Yeah, sure. That's a really long stalk that's fallen. Yeah, it's a like bamboo we're coral. Like facing yeah. each other. Yeah, you can start coming up to 20 now. That's correct, yep. Cool. Did you see what he changed? Did you catch it? Crinoid or something. Back to 20, uh, adjusting heading. I hold position first, I see. <coughs> Interesting. Heading back to 180. Ooh, I'm heavy, right, because I got a rock. Uh, sure, yeah, or whatever. Whatever this is, this is fine. It's 180. Sounds good. Alrighty. And delta at 20. Lovely. <clears throat> is possible to zoom here? Yes, it is. Not only possible, it's likely. <laughs> oh, why did I get so bouncy? Okay, uh, on the sponge? Yeah, on the top of the sponge. Sure, go to ahead. see if there is, there, is, there is any living on the sponge. It has to be dark down the bottom there, too. Go ahead, video, zoom in. Would that be like the mouth of the sponge? Or just like an opening? I think that's the exhaust, actually. I think <laughs> that's the yeah, no it is. I think it's the yeah. exhaust. Is that a technical term? Water out, outy bit. Water outy oh, bit. There was something that just swam by Herc. Yeah. Uh, look at that. Oh, what is yeah. That? Oh, yeah. Some squid or something. Little squiddly squid. diddly. Squiddly diddly. <laughs> Thank you. Howdy, howdy, neighborino. Yeah. All right. I, I think they have done place. some dye experiments where they put the dye and actually it goes in and then up and out the chimney sort of thing. Really? Yeah. Like, does it get absorbed through like the. Yeah, there's the holes stuff. in the side. <laughs> And then it shoots up. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's not sucking things in. It's just nope. shooting things out. Yeah. No, it's cold in here. Yeah. Ooh, what was that one? Are you watching this? 9700. Ooh. Ooh. Little bouncy bounce. Yeah. Oh, and we have some acorn worm tracks, I was going to say, yeah, look at that. They're back. How long do those trails stay there? Like, was that acorn worm here in the last day or the last four, four years? Or <laughs> I don't think we'll, we'll sit here all day and watch. All right. See how good. long. Dive, you said. I feel like the trails that went on the last watch looked a lot more defined than these do. Yeah. This is formerly Acorn Worm Town. Yeah, this is it's the it's the Acorn Worm Ghost Town. Squishy oh. Worm Town. 
Cornworm Ghost Town Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to keep adding words. <laughs> well, a Cornworm Ghost Town Mountain Peak. Mm, nice. Mm. Well, I guess, would it be a peak if it's a flat top? Flat top peak? Flat top peak, there you go. <laughs> Acorn Worm Ghost Town Mountain Flat Top Mike. Peak, formerly Acorn Worm Town Mountain. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Just keeping it straight here. <laughs> Can we fit that on a name tag? <laughs> no, it's like a shirt. I, I drove an ROV to... <laughs> <laughs> and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Another bit to Gordia? Yeah. Small ones. <clears throat> Is this Delta look okay? Yeah, sure. So now that we're like nearing the end, was there anything that we've seen that's like surprised you guys or was super unexpected? Um, I don't know. I like. Or if not, like what I did love you like the, the most? I love the um, scale worm. But I was surprised about how many dead bamboo corals we mm -hmm. saw, right? The circle of life. <laughs> now, I'm always interested in seeing that we don't have any carbonates at the tops of these geos. Mm -hmm. It seems over and over. How would you know carbonate by looking at it? I mean. It, I showed in the little presentation, they're usually a little lighter. And you can actually see some sort of the old corals as, as right. you know, fragments within it. And it's like stuff we saw down at Jarvis that was really, really massive and sharp cliffs. I and mean, that's a whole different sort of thing that I thought I saw last year on 141, but I'm, st I'm st still not sure. And you said you're surprised to see that or not surprised? Well, I mean, it, it's something I've been seeing over and over again, but you know, the conventional model for how geos are formed would say that there should be you know, reforming or carbonates on here that had been top of corals when it was at or near the sea surface when it initially erupted so, but I, you don't really see that here, so try to think of alternate ways that you can get this flat top sea mounts <laughs> I guess that's the point of us exploring it. Yeah. Anyone else want to chime in? Favorite thing? Surprising thing? The sack of cow lips. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the company, or the species of the company. The company. <laughs> <laughs> the company? Yeah, they're going to brand you know, professional sponges and call it the sack of cow licks. Yeah, that's, they're all professionals that work there? Yeah. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, that's only. It's only 10.30 in the morning. I don't know. I don't this know. is the first dive, everyone. First proper dive, yeah. We're already on sack of cow lips and <laughs> acorns, worm town, ghost town, formerly <laughs> town mountain. Pete like don't formerly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I think what surprised me the most was all those, like, 
stalks of the dead sponges. Um, cause I really didn't know what I was looking at. It looked like, it looked like wood. It looked like woody debris. I yeah. don't know. I thought it was really cool. It reminded me a lot of, like, I didn't expect it. Actually, I think Woody debris on the next watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a French American cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Woody debris. <laughs> There's an area on Explorer Seamount, and I think the Nautilus was there in 2018. But there's an area where the sponges grow so thick, they call it spongetopia, and you can just see new generations of sponges oh, cool. growing out of these husks that look like wood, like you were describing, uh, Annabelle. Yeah, wh where is exploration? It, uh, it was Explorer Seamount, oh. up near um, Vancouver Island, to the west of okay. Vancouver Island, and to the south of Haida Gwaii. Are the sponges found up there different than the sponges found down here? Some of them, they discovered a new species up there. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but they're more tubular. They kind of look like bugles, like the bugle oh, chips. Yum. Yeah. Can you say Any that? Generic okay. brand. <laughs> generic <laughs> brand. Ship. Ship. <laughs> you can get gramophone looking ones up there too. The big, big things. We've had Herc up there and had it landed between three big sponges that were all larger than it. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Next, really we need cool. to find one that we could, like, drive into. Yeah. So, so, Trevor, it's your call. My call? Yep. For what? Ending the dive. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's just as easy to spend nine more minutes down here. Okay. So then, let's check this. Zoom. Yeah, absolutely. We're set up in such a way we can stretch out and get a couple more minutes of looking around as we set up for recovery too. So we'll start setting up at 40 minutes past and be off bottom soon after. Let's zoom in there, please. Oh yeah, look, look at the stuff just below that too. Sure. What is that? We, I think we saw that on the, a ridge. It was, it's like a, a debris. Yeah, that sort of stuff below there. It's like a collection of organic material. It's we weren't really sure what it was on 141. Hmm. Did a sponge. Weird. Okay, thank you. Thank you. you come wide. That's a sponge? That a sponge. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. So when it comes time for setting up for recovery, we're going to have Herc stretched out the back of the, this way, and then Atalantis taking the same heading as the ship. So which way are you going to spin to <laughs> cancel out all the wraps? Mm, uh, what heading is the ship on? 239? Yeah, and you can also see that on this one right here. Oh. Uh, wow. Wait, 66. 67 degrees. That should match this, right? So. It should match Atalanta, yeah. Atalanta. So I need to spin in the negative direction, right? Mm -hmm. And then Dave's back I'll do video. it incrementally so it doesn't do anything funny. Yeah, you're only going a little bit, so okay. it shouldn't be too crazy, but yeah, you can do it in two steps. And negative direction is. Oh, it is negative 10, yeah. It actually says negative right there, yeah. Cool. It's negative direction is to port? Yeah. Okay. Delta's sitting around 18, 19-ish? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. She's pretty happy. We're all happy. <coughs> okay, we'll look at one more crinoid zoom and then we'll start setting up. Yes. Yeah. Nice red shiny thing. Well, let's do the stocked one actually, off to the left. 
they're both stocked, but you're catching what I'm throwing. Wow, Cinema Cam's got a good view. Oh, See, we, we have a fish coming in. And he's gone. Oh, Can we zoom on the crinoid, away. please? Victor Gorge in the background. Yeah. Yeah, I love these. They're oh, such so dramatic colors. I love it. Yeah. But it looks fake. Like, it looks like, like a plastic flower or something. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Look at it move. Very nice view. Alright, thank you. That's nice flying, Trevor. Thank you. Alright, let's uh, set up for recovery. Steve would like us to make sure <coughs> all right, the bio I'm boxes gonna are head closed. In so you bet they are. Port you. direction to 81 now, I guess? Yeah, close enough. As long as you're within 20 degrees, you're fine. Okay. And we can hold position. We can hold position. Yeah. Okay, you can disable your auto heading now. Uh, oh, there you are on the tail cam. Yeah. And we'll start coming up. Call that off bottom. All right. Uh, what speed should I be reeling her in? Uh, let's, hold, let's start at 15. Okay. And I probably will speed up soon. And the stick is here. You can get the stick going too. That's probably 23, I'm guessing. 26. Bye bye, Gio, oh 18 boy. and. Bye bye. We'll never, never see you again. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe? You can always come back. Yeah, you but why know. would we come back when there's so many things we can see that we well, haven't hey. seen before? Memories. Uh, how do I stick? <laughs> Memories. Slide it in this way is probably easiest. And then it pinches between that and that. Yeah. Watch your headphone cable, obviously. Watch my headphone. Okay, Can I get centered up on here, please? Slid. Is this okay? Yeah, and then you just push it down to go faster. Um, you can leave it there. That's a okay. good speed for right now. It's going like 12 or 13? Yeah, that's fine. I gotta catch up first. And then Already. And then we can speed? Yeah. Uh, video, uh, can I turn Atalanta lights off? Mm. Atalanta lights are on. Yep, and then we're just kind of holding here. Um, we just want to monitor our recovery position, and we can do a quick check of the um, of the ADCP. So that's on CAMAC, or actually it says EK80 now. It looks like you fixed the sticker, yeah. 
And but he's driving off of this, so you want to switch. So you can do it over here. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Can you shine your uh, auto heading, please? All right. So auto heading is on. Hit that ping. And can you change yeah, your heading to north-ish? And then we'll uh, just take a look at what's happening here. Yeah. So are we going in the? Just uh, starboard. Okay. Just, we'll just watch it for a little bit and see what it's doing. <coughs> All right, turning her around. So it kind of looks like under half a knot and coming from the aft of the ship forward. All right. So that's fine. Auto heading sector 360. Well, that means when we stream forward at the surface, we'll be in an okay position. It may mean that we don't need to hold position at the surface because if the current's coming mostly from the aft of the ship, if we were to hold position, then it would be fighting against that versus if we're going along with it, it's kind of as if as if we're holding position in a calm water. So, um, yeah. Okay, you can bring your heading to zero four five. I'm just struggling here because we were in the middle of a ship move still, so I'm trying to get faster. Uh, are we going in the positive yep. direction? If it's a close move, then okay. Yeah, you just go the close way. Okay, you can turn that off, and we'll check it again at closer to the surface, but. And go back to high this back. Is 402 degrees. That's, That's fine. Okay. You can also click auto heading off on, and it'll reset that number. Thank you. All right, we're around 41 degrees in auto heading. Yeah, okay. There you go. And then just minimize that. Okay. Um, we can let the bridge know that we, let's see, once we get an ascent rate from yeah, them, I'm struggling here. Um, then we'll, we'll give an approximate timing to the bridge, but they're aware that we are recovering <coughs> around noon anyway, so. Do you like my French-American cowboy joke? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just going to walk by a talk box and not make a joke, you know. <laughs> well, I guess it's that time mm. for some blue water banter. Anyone got any cool blue water stories? Mm hmm Yeah. Let me think about <laughs> what are some possible critters we could see while ascending. Dinner plate jelly. Squid. Pieces of squid. He's Pieces doing it. Pieces of squid. <laughs> Pieces of tina for. <laughs> Pieces of tina tina for jelly. So what he's doing is he's going to be releasing a plate. Just as soon as he remembers how to turn on the R. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, like a spaghetti. <laughs> so 
so it'll make the uh, vehicle lighter for ascent. But that's happened before. Yeah, looking at the water column data on the ascent, we were about 2.8 degrees C most of the dive. Now we're warmed up to a whole 3.2, half a degree. It's getting toasty. Yep. Do you, do you need porch light on? Or? I mean, it's incredible. You, at the bottom, the oxygen you know, concentration was about 65%. And it's dropping almost 55 now. Do you want me to turn the down light on? So, my ascent rate, uh, what do you want it about? Yes. Faster, keep it at zero delta. Okay. All right, uh, cranked it up to about 24 meters a minute. Yeah, you can probably go 30. Okay. Thank you. Uh, come on, you little devil. Why? What useless... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. How oh. does, how does a guy release a weight? If you dream it, Anything's possible. Oh, go away. <laughs> Who invited you? You can do anything you put your mind to. I did say that earlier, so I do regret everything. <laughs> did I hear down light? I'm over it anyway. I'm over it. Okay. I'm gonna need some forward. Thanks. Yeah. You got another one rigged up? Yeah. But I'm also... In a, in a harder to get place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just those cameras or drop lights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the beauty about a negative delta is I can just drive ahead and not worry about it. So right now it. I'm just looking at the, the butt cams there. So Hercules, we can see Argus there. We can also look at the um, the distance here. We know we've got a 30 meter tether on right now. Seems so short, mm -hmm. but yeah. Oh, I totally forgot to remind you about the little red book. <laughs> yeah, I was already up here for this shift, oh, but, but last shift we forgot. Uh, And then what we're doing here is we are at f 650 meters. We let the jack chief know. So we're at 1300 right now. And at 400 meters, we'll probably do it a little bit sooner just because it'll take a bit to like talk it through, but we'll go through and um, check on our ADCP. We'll confirm that the bridge is happy with their heading and that we're happy with that heading. Um, and we will secure tanks again, naval air to tuggers, cap on the bridge. Uh, we're gaining delta? Yeah, you can slow down. Just keep the zero delta. And then we will Whatever number you need track to do a line to do that. forward. Do that. I think. Yeah. Bye. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> That's too fast. You want to slow down? I'm aware. In you want to go to about probably 15 meters a minute right now. Okay. Because you're you're ahead of me right now, so you want to slow down so I catch up. I like the weight drops in theory. Yeah, but they don't work. Yeah. All right, how's that? That should be good. And then yeah, once we get back to zero, you can speed up again. 
Okay. So there's some Should sort of for auto heading 20 on. meters a minute. Uh, yeah, right. I was scribbling there. You can turn auto heading off. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the best case scenario. I was <laughs> like, otherwise. <laughs> what's, what's happening? What is happening? It gets slow over time. I think once it's been on for a while. In the past, I've tried to remove Bathy to see if that's what's slowing things down. Um, we don't need it anymore. Look at that current. But I think it's just that it's it doesn't like being on for a long time, which is not the best feature. Okay. We're around uh, 20 meters a minute. Cool. You'll have to change it a lot. So okay. you can see now we're no Just longer tracking our DVL because we negative switched our five to position positive source. Negative 5 10 is the window you want to stay in. Our, cool. If you had done this step here but we didn't change this then Hercules would still be down here which is wrong and then you would catch that by looking at your compasses and the butt cams and cameras and realize that you're not in the right orientation so that's one little gotcha you just got to make sure So for those of you watching at home, our vehicles are now ascending. We're finishing up this dive. Um, we should be on this expedition at the Johnson Atoll until the end of August. So check our social media channels for any dive alerts for next dives. I remember when it's negative delta depth, you need to speed up. Okay. And when it's positive delta depth, you need to slow down. Cool. I will try to remember that. Positive delta is how we're operating when we're on the bottom, right? You above me. Mm -hmm. So if we're going up and I pass you, it'll become negative. That means you need to speed up. Alrighty. Does it lose a push core? Nope, just the top. Oh. It's in the box. What else happened on this dive? Anything eventful? Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, you gotta elaborate if you're gonna say To be that. fair, he did point at something and. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, right. I, I am sitting next to him and he pointed at some, a piece I'm of paper. SPL, yeah, sorry, I'm yeah. showing on the log. Uh, oh. <laughs> we got this one. Yeah. Just wrote that. Yeah. Uh, this was fun. Had Tim crawling around for a while. Oh. That's. Was it. Was there a piece of crumb in there? <laughs> no, even on the KVM it didn't work. Oh, really? Yeah. That's weird. Uh, mm. Oh, this is neat, too. The uh, forward drop weight was released, yeah. but the R pin didn't come out of the porch, so it's about a meter underneath. Them. Oh, cool. that'll be cool. Yeah, that's fine. I'll stand under it <laughs> on the deck and pull. Make sure, yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure I get it. <laughs> We have an interesting question in the chat. Are there any radiation contamination risks for the ROVs due to the tests carried out in the past on the Johnson Atoll and surrounding areas? It sounds like a question I want to know the answer to as well. So I guess we don't know, but I mean. No three-eyed fish yet. Yeah, I was going to say, the fish and the corals didn't seem all radioactive, so the I think we're three-eyed fish okay. is the triclops. That's our camera on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> we are the three-eyed fish. I mean, to the fish down there, we definitely are maybe another fish. They don't know what we are. We wouldn't be a three-eyed fish. We'd be like one, uh, two, three, a, four, an eleven -eyed five, fish? six, yeah. seven, I don't know. Lots. But, but only in prime-numbered fish eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like our oxygen's still dropping, right? Yeah, it is. So do you think they'd be less likely to have any critters swimming over here because there's way less oxygen? Well, I don't think it's that low, right? I mean, critically I don't know low. how low that is. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's about 15%. 
Yeah. So, twelve fifty percent. So if you pull up your time. browser again. Luckily, there aren't that many things um, here. We have it on the Herc screen what, if we pull up the sensors. What zone? But um, would this be on the browser, I'll show you where. At a at a level or at one thousand meters, like ocean zone. Uh, is it Miso? No, it's uh. Ask four thousand. Google. Might, you might be on the other screen. There it is. <coughs> um, so yeah, open up a different Grafana. So just yeah, go that. Nautilus ship house. And then uh, scroll down a little bit and a little more. Twilight zone? Live data graphs. No, there you go. Don't use that one. It's a different term. It's going to be like a measles. So we normally look at our nav data yeah. one, but there is a science one in here if you scroll down. Science. Uh, what's it called? All Maybe all data is fine. Or side dive data. Go back one. Yeah. The meso. Uh, all data. Zone? What? The mesopelagic. The meso, yeah. Meso. Meso. Side the dive the, data. the Latin words are yeah. hard to read. So yeah, you got a bunch of stuff here. Temperature. Um, if you scroll down, there's probably oxygen somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Concentration. Saturation. Yeah. So. Yeah. Looks like we're ascending around 22 meters a minute. Nice. You can see my ascent rate on the utility page. Yeah, okay. It changes wildly, so. but you can see it at any given point Ooh. on the utility page. Mm -hmm. And at 1,000, it'll be meso. The ocean goes so much deeper than what we've Wait, where is that? Yeah, the average ocean on depth utility. is 1,000 meters. Oh, utility. The average? The average. Yeah. There it is. So we were like pretty shallow compared to that. Yep. Like, like yeah, yeah, beans out. Well, this includes mm -hmm. a lot of the continental Already shell beaning. too. Me? Okay. Beaning. Oh, I'm beaning. I yeah. didn't have any drinky. Oh, uh, so now you're just beanie. Yeah. No drinky. Solids. Solids only. Solids only diet. Yeah. yeah. Not drinking any water either. <laughs> just beans. <laughs> just dry, dry beans. Directly to the source. Yeah. Bean source. So the deck chief's now out there, kind of setting things up. He might call you and ask for the air, if because he wants to set up early. But he might already have it because he's pulling. Yeah, it looks like he's got it. You can pull it without the uh, air. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a declutch maneuver. Interesting. Yeah. I went to that one, the uh, port side one, mm -hmm. and that one the handle can flip down, yes. but the other one doesn't. Oh, and, doesn't it? Okay. and it was flipped down, and I, I went, I got to the thing to go recover, and I just completely didn't know what I was doing because it was flipped <laughs> down. I was like, I don't know how to operate this piece of machinery, and I've been doing it like for ten years. <laughs> and, then, and then it took me like a very long time to just realize that you could just flip that thing up. Just fold it over, yeah. yeah. That's funny. <laughs> I was like holding the brake. I'm like, this something's wrong. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Um, can you tell me again what you saw on the ADCP? Yeah, I can bring that up again. Uh, it was a current from the aft of the ship. Uh, so then go ahead, ping it again. Yeah. Ping. Pingus maximum. And we'll watch it for a bit, see what happens. Zero. That's that's not real. It'll it'll settle in. And what depth are we looking at? Zero to nine? Zero to nine. Zero as the uh, depth of the profiler? Uh, I believe so, yeah. So it's like whatever, five to 15 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So it's, if we go, f if we stream forward at half a knot or 0.4, we'll kind of counteract it. Theoretically be, yeah, like, and that's why I was saying we might not need to stop at the surface because if yeah, we yeah. did, then we'll be fighting it. That's my thought, but you that know, sounds great. we'll figure out what happens when we get there. Of course, yeah, that sounds great to me. And that makes sense, Elias. Yeah, okay. I love this little tool. Yeah, it's great. It's like one more piece of data, you know? Yeah. Because that two knots right there, that's totally swell based, I would think. Mm -hmm. A little extra wind and, oh, a little hook. What? 
the wire cam, I saw him doing something. He was he pushed the hook out. Mm. He had the he got the you got the urge the urge <laughs> the intrusive thought. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> yeah. <Just. laughs> uh, has the uh, speed and delta? Looks good. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, minus five to plus ten. That's as bang on to perfect as you can get. Nice. Here on Nautilus, we aim for zero. <laughs> <laughs> zero is perfection. <laughs> if you guys could take Herc anywhere and explore, where would you go? The hangar. Oh. <laughs> well, boy, do I have some great news for you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, though, <laughs> for real. Uh, I don't know if I have a good answer, but it's a good question. Well, Herc has a depth limit of 4,000, mm -hmm. so it can't be deeper than that. There's probably some cool lakes, you know, Lake Tahoe. That'd be a cool one to dive mm -hmm. on. Ocean-wise, 4,000 meters. I don't, I don't know. 3,800 meters. It's quite deep. But not, oh. that, not that not, deep. Not that deep, no. I'm a complete yeah. liar. I'm going to Google it. Yeah. Uh, there has been exploration there. I think the vehicle was called Yogi, maybe? Uh, 1,645 feet. Feet? Feet. Oh, man. Feet. It's not deep at all. No wonder they used a much uh, Crater more Lake in Oregon is the deepest uh, mm. vehicle. How deep is Crater Lake? I'm going to Google it. Okay, this thing stops working after a while, so you can turn off the pinging that <laughs> way. It just stops working. <laughs> it just, it's, we're, we're in talks with them. The graph is not, because there's another bit of software that they haven't included in this, where it's actually the rows based on depth. And so you can see yeah, like, yeah. And, and for some reason that's not in this, in this okay. one. Huh. Crater Lake is 1,949 feet. Okay, it's not shallow. Um, I don't know. I think the hydrothermal vents are pretty spectacular, no matter where they are, as far as diving on stuff goes. Yeah, that's pretty fun. We go back to those those blue coraled cliffs. Those are pretty oh, fun. Oh yeah. yeah. Were those near Jarvis? Yeah, they were near Jarvis. Jarvis, yeah. Like that was just incredible. The unreal. You know, the the pictures don't don't look real. Sounds like they're going back next year. Yeah. Neat. I'll probably be on that one. Can you do a quick gauge check, please? Gauge check. Um, gauge. Just doing more little adjustment on yeah, the Yeah, totally. <laughs> 